Aeration is a controversial topic found everywhere in this hobby, but it shouldn't be, and here's why. Surface agitation is a byproduct of aeration. Agitation helps promoting gaseous exchange in the water by removing any surface film. Surface film prevents that gaseous exchange from occurring, meaning that CO2 will get trapped in the water. This isn't a good thing as CO2 levels will quickly rise to very high levels of concentration. But more CO2 is a good thing, right? No. CO2 inherently decreases pH. CO2 reacts with water to form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid can break up into hydrogen ions and carbonate ions. This release of hydrogen ions is what lowers pH levels. So, having your CO2 levels rise quickly may create wild pH springs that could negatively affect any pH-sensitive lifestyle, such as shrimp. In order to prevent this, you'll need a balance between CO2 and oxygen in the water. So how do we achieve that? We can use surface skimmers or anything that will agitate the surface, such as air pumps or filters, to prevent any surface foam from settling. Furthermore, at night, plants release CO2 and intake oxygen. If there is not enough oxygen, your plants, livestock, and most importantly, beneficial bacteria may have a hard time breathing. This is especially significant in tanks that use DIY CO2 that cannot be shut off at night. So when don't you want to use additional aeration? 1. In any tank that is desperate for CO2, such as low-tech and Wallstad style tanks, using surface agitation will decrease CO2 levels. And 2. If you have any floating plants such as salvinia and redroot floaters, these absolutely despise any type of current. But what if I have a heavily planted tank? Do I need aeration? Well, no. However, I still recommend that you make sure that the surface is clean, especially if you're injecting CO2. Plus, surface film is not aesthetically pleasing. Making sure that CO2 is balanced is essential to every planted tank. Any offset of CO2 may lead to algae issues. So, how do you know if your CO2 is balanced? Well, I've got just the video for you. 